All right, guys, so this is 705 Dover Lane. Uh, this is down here on the south side of Hinesville. Uh, don't believe there's an HOA in this neighborhood. If there is, it's very minimal. Um, just wanted to show you this house. Uh, so uh, this one here, like I said, it's a single story, single car garage, but it's a little bit cheaper, I do believe. It's listed, I want to say around 180. Um, so we'll kind of take a look at it. The roof looks solid. I do have a big tree kind of off to the front here. Um, some of these older oak trees, that kind of thing. Um, most people are just going to trim all, trim away the leaves that overhang uh, and take over the, the roof and kind of leave the, the tree alone because it's been there so long, it's probably not going to come down anytime soon. So fence, uh, the gate, you got a double gate on the left here. They kind of have their car parked in the yard. Um, but definitely use some kind of um, landscaping a little bit right off the bat the front door uh, the screen door here um, this piece uh, that supports the screen door is already busted um, so i'm gonna be extremely cautious when opening the screen door because i think the only thing holding it together right now is uh, this uh, the shock that opens the door right uh, but stepping in we have all tile throughout I do believe I, I haven't seen any carpets. Um, so to the left, you have what would be a formal dining room. They kind of have set up as a little office space right now. To the right, uh, your, your sleeping areas and then forward living area, kitchen off in the back corner. So a little closed off, but still kind of open just because there's no doorways, that kind of thing. Um, so living room here, good size living room. You have a wood burning fireplace there. Unless, ah, uh, no, here's the master. Master's here off of the living room, right? So we'll go in here first. So master bedroom in here. Um, you guys have a full size, they have a full size bed, queen size bed. It's not quite a king size bed, um, but there's plenty of space. You probably put a king size. They didn't have that massive dresser there. You come through. Uh, so the bathroom, you have your vanity kind of in the room, but there is a or was a door that should be here and then to the left is the shower and toilet to the right is the closet All right so a step-in closet man's got a pretty tight shoe game so we come out so this one's a little not as well maintained i'm noticing quite a bit more um little just little ticky tack things as far as like holes in the wall not big holes but like nail holes um, things of that nature Come into the kitchen. So you have an eat-in area here. Your kitchen is long more so than it is like kind of wide and open uh, Your appliances are a little bit older. So not quite as modern and new But still pretty I mean they look good. So they must be pretty functional stove tops a little worn um, So it shows its age a little bit, but you kind of come in back here so you have your laundry room, big size laundry room here. Like I said the water heater looks like it's much older on uh, this one, uh, like the smoke hookah. So then you have the garage, it's, I'm gonna guess it's where they smoke their hookah. Um, doesn't smell super smoky, so they must do it with the garage door open, but single car garage here. And then like I say, you just kind of wrap around and come back towards the front of the office. We'll go across, we'll go over to the living areas. So guest bedroom one right here off the hallway. You have a step-in closet here. Uh, they got a little one. They got a bunch of his toys and stuff in the closet right now. Like I said, just things I noticed, like the walls a little extra dirty, things like that. Um, the paint is washable, so it is an upgraded paint, but then you have things like this by the door. This is guest bedroom two, which is completely empty. So it's tile throughout. I've got a bunch of handbags and clothes and stuff in the closet in here, but the room itself is empty. Uh, you just kind of see like where like the beds would sit, that kind of stuff, furniture. All right, so cosmetic stuff on that aspect. And then the guest bathroom. In the back here, um, many looks like it was attempted to be updated. The cabinets just look kind of old. And then you have an older tile shower there, right? So like I said, price points, you're gonna get a, a mixed bag of 
of different stuff at the same price point. So it's kind of nitpick, right? Some you're gonna find a better deal on. Like I said, I can get more from the seller. Um, Cause this house right here, I can tell you, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fly off the shelf. Um, just from a simple standpoint, it is not that house, right? It's not the prettiest, it, it does need some work, things like that. So the deal to be found here is gonna be much better. Um, in the backyard, you do have an outbuilding there. They have a little shed there. They've got a boat in the yard over here on the left. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, you got a privacy fence outside of the chain link fence. So pretty decent sized yard. Looks like an older HVAC unit as well. So like I said, this would be a deal. Um, this would be one to get a deal on, not necessarily, you know, pay top dollar for. So. 705 Dover. So this is leaving 705 Dover. It's listed at 190, same as 863 Birchwood. Um, you guys will kind of notice um, quality difference, right? But it looks at the same price house, right? Um, one, uh, 863 um, Birchwood, probably not gonna get a whole lot out of them, uh, but you're also not gonna need to do a whole lot to the house. Um, 705 Dover, however, gonna need to do a little bit more so i might be able to get um price reduction or get some you know repairs things like that closing cost um uh, into the deal that way you're coming out of pocket with even less um that's the difference between those two really right um quite like i said depending on how much of a project you're looking for or willing to do or willing to take on that kind of stuff um that's the difference in those two deals right there right off the bat um Inspections are always a thing. I'm always going to advocate for for you to have an inspection. That's going to go. That's going to come in our due diligence period. I'm getting turned around on this neighborhood. Got to turn around. So uh, this is Nottingham Place. So like I said, this one is just off of 84. We're a little closer to Walmart, uh, middle of town, but on the south side. So as we kind of come through the neighborhood, like I said, I don't believe there's an HOH here, um, but I mean, you can kind of see there's the mixed bag of, there's a few people that take care of the yard, there's a few people that don't, right? Um, that's what you kind of get when you get no HOA. Most HOAs here, like I said, they're gonna be a couple hundred bucks, and all it's really gonna do for you is make sure everybody keeps their stuff nice, right? You're not gonna have super overgrown grass, people aren't leaving their trash cans out for days, um, there's not gonna be a ton of trash, that kind of stuff in their front yards. They're gonna, you know, police that stuff up. But this, that was 705 Dover. Like I said, we'll come up. Um, I'll show you where we're gonna come out at. We'll come out right by 84. We'll pass another little neighborhood on our left, uh, which is Wexford. It's Nottingham Village. On our left is Wexford, um, or IE. Um, yeah, that's Wexford Drive. There's another neighbor, little neighborhood up here on the left, um, which is off of Easy Street. Uh, we just passed right there. So it's just kind of tucked in here. You don't really see it from Hinesville. It's, it's quite a bit of distance between, you know, the main road and these neighborhoods. So, and it's all, it's nothing but woods right through here, right? So I want to say it's protected wetlands on the left. Uh, and just undeveloped land on our right. So no telling of what's gonna come, if anything's gonna come to the right, or how soon, um, if anything's gonna be built in there. But we're gonna come out, like I said, closer to Walmart. Walmart will be just off to our left. There's a dealership up here on our left, uh, the, the Dodge dealership, but then there's also this little like uh, car shop here on the left, Sonic's across the street. Um, don't eat at that Sonic. It's for a story for another day. But we'll make the right Lowe's straight ahead. Uh, Lowe's is across the street. So here we go. It's going to poke us out right behind me. If I made that left, Walmart's right in the opposite corner. You've got McAllister's Deli, stuff like that. And we're back on 84. 